Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Self Care Mary, aka Mary, and today I wanted to share with you guys five self care habits that have changed my life. So, without further ado, let's get started. If you knew me a year ago, you would know that I was very depressed, I was very anxious, and I would always just have a fake smile. I mean, I absolutely hated myself and I just had so many demons that I had to work with. Everything I looked at in life was negative. I mean, I thought that everyone was against me. I didn't see any good. I honestly had no will to live just a year ago. And looking at my life now, I'm like, wow, something just clicked. And so I wrote a list of the things that I did to change my life around. And I hope this helps you guys too, because now I've never been happier. I don't have to fake a smile anymore. And I just feel all around light. Like I feel at peace. And I really wanted to share this because it could help at least one person out there. And maybe it's you. So let's get into it. First self-care habit that I did to change my life was practicing gratitude. I did a psychology project on this my freshman year of college. And I didn't believe it either, you know, I was like, well, what good does writing a few words in your journal every day do? But studies show that actually doing that boosts your happiness over time. I was like, uh, okay, I'll try it for myself. <laughs> and that's what I did. Every single night I would write out at least three things that I was grateful for and it could be absolutely anything, you guys. I know it's hard at first, but once you get into the habit of doing it, it becomes so much easier easier before doing this i would always have such a negative outlook i would look at what everyone else in the room had and i would be like i don't have that and this just makes you more miserable than you already are i'm gonna be honest you just end up being so much more negative when you don't need to be searching for at least three things every single day that i'm grateful for was a big change and it could be anything you know we take so much for granted so I would just write simple things because I was going through a tough time. So I wrote, I'm thankful for my bed. I'm thankful for having a home to live in and I'm thankful for food. These are my basic necessities. And you know, a lot of people don't have this and I have taken it for granted. As time went on, I kept adding more things into my life, noticing more amazing things. I really just have to take the first step. I know it's not gonna be easy, but it's so worth it. The more you look for positive things, the more you attract positive things in your life. You're just gonna find yourself seeing more good every single day, and that is the key to making you happier. The second self-care habit that I did to change my life was meditating, and I also got this from my psychology class. When my teacher mentioned it, I was like, you know, this is for boho people. Like, I have never meditated. Like, that's just not something that I do. I'm not a very zen person. But I decided to just try it anyway. Doing this really helped me get out of my head because before that, I would just be so overwhelmed with everything. I would be pacing back and forth, trying to decide things. I would get so nervous to the point where I would throw up before a test. And so when I realized how effective meditation was, I started doing it right before every test. And I would just cleanse my mind, cleanse my body, get a clear head headspace you make room in your head for the things that actually matter and you block out anything that is draining your energy positive vibes and exhale everything negative going through my mind and sometimes just visualizing like a sunlight in you and it's spreading everywhere really helps too so i really recommend meditating at least for three minutes or five minutes whatever you're comfortable with at first and as time goes on it will get easier. My third self-care habit that changed my life was journaling. When my feelings were overwhelming me, I would just take out a pen and write it down. Literally just write down whatever you're feeling because when you do that, you get the thoughts in your head onto paper, you release it. You're kind of just like your own therapist when you do this. It's such a healthy coping mechanism rather than going out and being self-destructive. Journaling also helped me make decisions because I was the most indecisive person ever. Like, I would be like, yeah, no, yeah, no. Like, I just cut it, you know? It's like, you know what, let me just write it out. When you write it out, you see things with a much clearer perspective. You don't have to store these thoughts in your mind anymore. Just get it out on paper and I promise you, you'll feel so much better. The fourth self-care habit that changed my life was stopping my negative self-talk. 
and this could be so hard for me i struggled with this my whole life like i would always bring myself down if someone ever complimented me i'd be like no no no, no all you you know but when you do that you're just downgrading yourself when you say oh things like oh my god i'm so fat i'm ugly like you know even as a joke you get it into your head and it starts manifesting we really have to focus more on what gifts that we were blessed with so every single day i would start writing three positive affirmations about myself and this can feel so weird at first because we tend to rely on other people to tell us that we're worthy that we're enough that we're loved but when you start giving yourself that same kind of love and attention game changer i'm telling you you don't even need attention from anybody else like you already know that you are beautiful, you are worthy, you are enough, you are capable, and you can do absolutely anything you set your mind to. I've always been my biggest self-critic, and I'm sure some of you guys can relate to that. This did nothing but bring me down. When you do this, you're just stifling your growth, and you are not giving yourself the credit that you deserve. I mean, you are on this earth, and I'm sure you're doing amazing. So stop holding yourself back from the opportunities that you were capable of. When you love yourself, you start to attract people that love you. You honestly start seeing people in a more positive light too, because if you love yourself, you're not going to be looking at someone and saying they're ugly because you know that you're both beautiful. There is room on this planet for us to all shine. So when I started doing positive affirmations every day, I found that I was believing in myself so much more. I came into class confident, into work confident, knowing that I was worthy, I was capable, and I was enough. And honestly guys, all you need is yourself. When you repeat these things over and over to yourself, you start believing it, you start acting like it, and your whole life just starts changing. The fifth and last self-care habit is praying. And some of you guys might not be religious. Honestly, I wasn't either, even though I was raised Catholic. I just never really went to God as my first priority, you know? He would always be like last on the list if something went wrong. And when I did this, I was absolutely miserable. I felt like I was all alone. But when I finally let God into my life, I knew that I was not alone at all and that I could go to Him for absolutely anything. You don't have control over everything, but knowing that God is there and that he's got us and that he's got a plan for us, that just changes your whole perspective because you go about life thinking, you know what, I did my best and it's up to God. I was more at peace. I was more loving towards other people. And I just finally found my will to live. I thought to myself, you know, God put me on this earth for a purpose. When I started feeding my soul, feeding my mind in the right ways, my life just took a turn for the better. And I want that for each and one of you guys because life is hard as it is and we have limited control, but the things that we do have control over, I think it's really important that we take advantage of that and work on ourselves so that we could become happier, have a more positive outlook in life and live our absolute best possible life. Everything starts with you, your relationships and your career, how you go about life all stems from how you feel about yourself, how you take care of yourself. So that's why I'm such a huge self-care advocate and I always will be because the wonders that I did for my life is astronomical. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. I really enjoyed it and I will make more self-care content. So stay tuned for that. You can follow my Instagram at Love Mary and TikTok at Self Care Mare. I'll put it down below. I hope you guys have an amazing day and a beautiful week. Thank you for starting your self care journey with me.